Today we're going to work on a portrait of ourselves, which would be a self-portrait, based on the artwork of Romer Bearden. And Romer Bearden used collage as his medium. That means that was the technique he used for most of his artwork. So collage is when you take different things like magazines and newspapers and colored papers and you cut them up and you make an artwork out of them. So today you're going to need your sketchbook to attach everything to. You're going to need maybe some newspapers or magazines. Um, I have some ads here. Or you can just use your colored construction paper. So first I need an idea. So Romare Bearden did, sometimes he did portraits and sometimes he did whole scenes with cities. Um, I guess you have to decide where do you want to place yourself in this picture? So I'm going to put myself into a street scene. So I don't have to make my, a big giant head. I'm going to make a, myself standing and then I'll create some sort of background for myself. So I think I want to start with the background because it'll be easier to apply myself over a background. So I'm going to create a horizon line and I think I want to make some buildings on that horizon line. So for the buildings, I'm going to cut up some newspaper and I think I'm going to use, I'm looking for something that's kind of like a rectangle and I think I'll use these rows of cars. So I'm just going to cut them out. Now if you're working with just colored papers, or you could use you, um, printed things like junk mail, things that come in the mail that just have lots of words on them, and you could cut them up and use that as well. Alright, so I want to shape this into building shapes. So I want a, a variety of shapes. I don't want them all the same. So I'll have some tall ones and some short ones. And I can even shape them more if I want. So if I want to make the roof kind of like a triangle type house roof, do something like that. What does this look like on the back? So either way would be good. Maybe I'll do this one like that. I'll make the next one more rectangular and a little narrower or thinner. And I want to make the next one taller. So I have to cut a new piece. I think I want to put the tall one in the middle, and I'm going to use the back side and overlap that a little. I'm going to have it for now go right off the page. And I think I'll flip this one like this. Let me get those glued down and in, into place. So I'm going to pause this for a second while I get that finished. All right, I've got my buildings glued down, and now I'm ready to start my portrait. I want to have a little contrast with that, so I'm going to try to find something, maybe even someone else's head, to start making my head. So I'll see if I can find anybody that looks like someone I could use. I don't think that's exactly how I want to do that, so I'm just going to try to find something that looks a little different than black and white. So I found this picture here of a, looks like a steak. So I want to make my head out of this. So I'm going to cut it into the shape of a head. I 
kind of like this way. Almost looks like that's the back of the head a little bit, like it's turned a little sideways. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'll just build off of that. Let's see. So, I'm not bigger than the building. I'm closer to the viewer than the building. So my feet are going to be down here. Here's the bottom of the buildings. I'm like really up close. And I'll add more to this. I'm not going to leave it like just like a steak. So I'll make some eyes and a mouth and um, all those details. So now I want to make my body. And I think I will just, I'm just going to cut out a colored picture from the newspaper. Oh, here's a good one. It's just a picture of a truck. body shape here. So I'm now I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So that, that looks like my neck. I'm kind of, I imagine myself facing this way. And I'm just going to draw my upper torso. So I don't have arms yet. I'm just doing my like my body, my shirt without arms. And I'll put that right there like that. See how I put it upside down too? So it, I don't really, I don't want it to look like a truck. <laughs> so I'm just using it for the color. So by putting it upside down, it kind of like changes how you see it. And I'll use the same picture to make some arms. So I want it to look a little bit like it has some movement. I don't want it to be just standing there like I'm posing for a picture. So I'm going to cut out some strips of paper from the same piece. And then I'll break them into pieces so they look more like arms that are moving. So, I don't want it just to stick out like that. I want it to, that actually helps if I can sneak it under too. I want it to be like moving, doing something. So, I could have them up, like, hey, look at me. Or just like, just a little bit of movement, like maybe I'm walking. So this is my profile. I think I'm gonna go more for like a walking thing. So I'm gonna put that one there. And I'm going to cut it at the elbow. Actually, there was some glue stuck there, so I, can, I don't even have to put more glue on. And see what I did there? I just cut it at the elbow and then moved it into a new position. So now I have that arm. And... This arm's going to be up because I saw somebody that I knew and they took my picture while I was walking. And I like this piece even though it's a little ripped because it has this white piece at the end that looks like a cuff of a shirt. Pull it down just a little bit. All right, now let's find some different color for the pants. So here's some black and white. It's a lot of black here. So I'll make, use this for my black pants. And once again, I want to show movement. So I'm going to cut strips. Strips. 
and I want them to be about the same width. I want one giant leg and one's they're pretty close. So I'm walking. Sneak that under there. Or I can just cut it really close. I'll get a nice cut on that. Now I'm going to reverse those. And I could put a, sh a foot down there. And like that. So now I'm moving out across the page. I'm going to keep on adding. I need to make my face and my hands. And you can also use your crayons and colored pencils to add details. But the main picture should be made out of pieces of cut paper. Alright, that is our assignment for today. So we're doing a Romare Bearden style self-portrait.